Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sinaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think you guys should be doing first in season five to maximize your guys' time spent on the game and tell you guys what are the best reward cards to go after, what are the best game modes to play, and other season five tips to help you guys out. Before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are doing first in season five. Are you guys going to play clutch time? Are you guys playing draft? Are you guys going after a limited? Are you guys just doing XP grinding? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are attacking first. In today's video, obviously that's what the point of the video is, telling guys what I recommend going for first. So the first thing I recommend people who don't like playing the game online do is just hop right into domination. I think going after this Paul, Paul Millsap, dynamic ratings domination is a very smart idea. You can make a bunch of MT from this, a bunch of tokens, because of the fact that you get these Grizzlies or you get these dynamic rating player packs, and these cards sell for like two to three. Sometimes some of these cards even sell for 5,000 MT. I talked about this in my video yesterday, but I talked about this in one of my videos yesterday. I made a video talking about how to make MT with these dynamic rating cards, but basically, you can make, I think, around 75,000 MT for this domination. You're gonna get about 90 to 100 tokens. You're gonna get, obviously, Galaxy Opal Palm Millsap, which is really nice. And you're gonna get three Hall of Fame badges, which are Brick Wall, Catch and Shoot, and Triple Threat Juke. Two good ones, Brick Wall, Solid, Catch and Shoot, very good. And then you get a Diamond Consumable Pack that has 10 cards in it. So I think this is a good way to start off Season 5. If you guys are not really into playing the game online, right? Just hop into domination. It's very easy. It's on superstar against some fairly easy team. Wait, are they not easy teams? Okay, the oh yeah, so they're current teams. So these are very easy teams. Okay, I thought they were a bit harder. So not yeah, these are very, very easy teams. It is on superstar, right? Which is a little bit harder, but I mean you're playing mostly gold cards, right? Some diamonds, but these cards, yeah, these teams are not very good at all. So this is a great way to start off season five is by playing in this new dy dynamic range domination. And at the end you get Galaxy Paul Millsap, who's a very good free card. So if you guys only play the game online, I recommend to start with domination. If you also don't only play the game online, I'd recommend maybe hopping in to trip with it offline. Because again, you can go after Morris Pearson. He is a decent card. You get like 4,500 MT, another 4,500 MT, 35 tokens, and an all-star pack on the way which is some decent rewards i wouldn't really recommend most people go for triple that offline it's not really worth it but if you guys like just like chilling out playing some triple that offline definitely would recommend it and then while you're doing all this by the way you should be focused you should be focusing on xp i think ray allen is a very good card obviously i don't think he's the best card in the game he may not be the best shooting guard in the game it's very debatable if he i think he's top three though i think i think most people agree he's top three i think he's top three shooting guard in the game but basically while you're doing triple that offline while you're doing domination you guys just want to chip away at xp i don't think you guys have to go crazy like i did and try to get him on day one or don't have to like go crazy and try to just focus on xp but just maybe when you're playing some domination games you're playing some trip with that offline games you're gonna get challenges done as you go for example when you play trip with that offline going for morris peterson maybe use some power thin cards get some power thin xp done when you're playing domination maybe focus a little bit of what you need to do in domination like come to here like i like i said before about the domination i have a video talking about how to get ray on as fast as as possible and as easy as possible and how i got him first in the world so i'll leave that link in my description down below so if you guys want help with xp and how to do as fast as possible definitely recommend go watch that video but i think as you're doing some stuff in this video i recommend you know chipping away at some xp right maybe in domination while you're doing domination maybe use amethyst cards maybe try to get opal points maybe try to grab rebounds with pink diamond centers go for a triple double right and then point guard points like that's all easy stuff you can do while you're just playing domination so yeah that's like number three but i'd kind of like work on if you don't like playing the game online if you like playing the game online honestly i think you should hop right into unlimited this cincy pal card is super super good i know unlimited a lot of people do not like to play but if you do enjoy playing this game online or unlimited i think it's definitely worth it to hop into unlimited you're gonna get cincy pal who looks to be a very good small forward power forward and of course you get all the mt from the boxes right if as you guys can see in my pack marker i'll just scroll over all the way to show you guys what i have so far so so far i have for example the silver box i have the gold box the emerald box and in the sapphire box i'll be having a bit i'll do a video opening up all the boxes and see how much mt we can can make but last season i made like 150,000 000 mt from the unlimited boxes so that's like number four what i would do but if you guys like playing the game online 
this is honestly the first thing I would hop into or clutch time. I think it's between clutch time and unlimited. Clutch time reward, I don't think this big Z card is gonna be that good. I think he'll be solid. It's just the speed is really slow. Pretty sure he only has like 68 speed, which in my opinion just doesn't really cut it for where we are in the year when some of these centers like Will Chamberlain have like 88 speed and then you get a coach boost. Like I think my Will Chamberlain right now has like 94 speed, which is just ridiculous. But I think clutch time is still a good mode to go after. You're gonna get good rewards and there's a chance you do get Sean Kemp, who looks to be a very good card as well. Um, you guys can see hall of fame badge back right there you get some tokens you get some mt and you get some other pink diamond rewards but mainly i think you want to go after big z and you want to go after sean kemp and then obviously some hall of fame badge and some tokens and some mt is definitely nice so if you like playing the game, game online first two modes i'd recommend is unlimited and then probably clutch time right i, th I don't I, I think the draft is worth it too i'm going to recommend the draft next i think drafts actually saw that rip hamilton card is really really good for the next two modes i'd recommend grinding is between draft and triple threat online this sharif card actually is solid like there's a lot of good solid reward cards like unlimited cincy powell he looks very good we look at sharif he looks solid draft rip hamilton he looks solid i'm not saying any of these cards are you know game breaking cards but they're all very good big z he's solid sean kemp looks pretty good right boogie cousin he looks very good as well the only problem with boogie is that he's going to take six weeks to come out so when he comes out in six weeks he may not be worth it but right now boogie definitely looks to be a good card next thing i want to talk about is going to be the exchange Honestly, I've never recommended anybody to lock in the exchange. This is probably the first time I do. I think this is the first time I do recommend you guys lock in for the exchange. Also, if you guys don't want to lock in for the exchange and you have Bucks players, I'm pretty sure Bucks players are going to be going for a lot of MT because of the fact that people are going to want to lock in for the Sydney Moncrief card. He's a very good defensive point guard. He's a Galaxy Opal. I think he's actually worth it for once. I've never said that any of these exchange awards are worth it, but this might be the first one I would actually recommend. I'm pretty sure people said it's around 40 to 50,000 MT. And I think for Galaxy Opal, Sydney Moncrief, that's actually a good idea. So maybe look into doing Sydney Moncrief, Galaxy Opals. But when talking about game modes, I think in general, I think a lot of people should be able to hop into clutch time. It's it's a hard it's not a hard mode to play online but it's not an easy mode to play online like trip with an online or draft those are those are the two easiest online modes so if you guys don't like playing the game that much online or you're not that really into it i'd maybe focus on draft or trip with that online but if you do like playing online a lot i would definitely go into unlimited or clutch time and like i said domination very good to start off season five i think paul Millsap's pretty good right another just pretty good reward card and i think you get some good rewards like tokens and mt on the way same thing with trip with that offline i don't think morris peterson is a game breaking card or game breaking game breaking shooting guard but i think he's very solid so those are the modes that i'd recommend going after first that's pretty much going to do it for the video guys just want to give you guys my opinions on what modes i think you guys should play first to maximize your amount of time when playing the mode and getting the most out of season five you can possible let me know in the comment section down below what you guys are going to go after first me personally i'm going to focus on unlimited obviously i went for ray allen first we got him first in the world but now i'm going to mainly focus on unlimited and focus on clutch time you guys can see we have 70 wins on the account so we're about 30 wins away from big z and potentially getting sean kemp so right now i'm focusing on unlimited and clutch time let me know in the comment section down below what modes you guys are focusing on right now and how you guys are liking season five to start out hope you guys enjoy the video and i catch you guys in the next one peace